Okay. <laughs> that didn't really go as expected. I just crashed my Mini 2. <laughs> Let's see if we can locate it and see how bad it is. So we just pull up the map here. Let's just go out and see how bad it is. The weather is really not very good and very suitable for this. So, <laughs> so let's see if I zoom in here on the map. It's it crashed over in these trees because uh, the wind was uh, too strong. So let's just see. It's oh no. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> so that's the first one. So that was a pretty bad hit. So there's no chance that uh, we will be flying with that one today. Let's get back into the car. So let's get inside. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> okay, at least that was a proof that it's pretty windy today. So, let's get in the car. So, <laughs> so that was a pretty bad hit. So, that will, um, it was already broken a little bit, so it will take, yeah some extra work from my side to uh, to fix this but nevertheless this shouldn't prevent us from doing the video that i originally planned because yesterday i got an information about a new beta app uh, that dji was uh, providing for me to test out a new feature that's called fly spots which they have officially introduced by now i guess it's, this is uh, the release time, at least this is what, the, what was in the email. So I didn't have much time to plan the video. We are talking the 1.12.8 version of the GGI Fly app. And if we go to the front side here, you can see that uh, it's being rearranged very nicely here in the front. The challenge was that uh, this beta app was only provided to me as an Android or iOS version. So I could basically not use the DJI RC and some of the newer drones to test this out. I will of course do a follow-up video uh, once it becomes available uh, officially uh, for all of you on the controllers. I will take my Mini 3 Pro and uh, my Air 3 and go to locations to demonstrate this fly spot feature. That meant that I had to go for using uh, the Mini 2 because that's basically the only drone that I have that uses the old controller and a smartphone on top that will allow me to run the app. I also plan to go to one of my favorite locations, uh, the Orby Harbor, where, I, where I've been doing numerous uh, filmings here. Unfortunately, the weather wouldn't uh, collaborate with me today, and which unfortunately caused me to crash the Mini 2. So we can't really do that flight, but that shouldn't prevent me from giving you an introduction to this new feature. As you can see here on uh, the front screen, it has been nicely reorganized here. So you have this option here that says, I don't know what it says, but if you click here, it will take you directly to the map. And once you are on the map here, you um, you have some uh, several uh, informations available. But one of them is that you can basically type in the address where you want to go. So if I say Orby, then it's coming up with Orby Sarskovin Gulborsund, blah, 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 and this is what we want. So basically, that will take me to the location where I am right now. Depending on what drone that you're flying, it can be uh, have different uh, labels. It can be a C0, it can be a C1, C2 and C3 drones because those are basically more or less the only drones that are allowed to be sold in the EU right now under the new EU drone legislation. But if you are lucky to have a drone without a C-mark that's below 250 grams, you can fly that uh, under equally terms as uh, the C0 more or less. The cool part about this app here is, uh, or this update of the app is that you can simply just scroll here and then you can pick the drone. So let's say that I want to see uh, what restrictions uh, or what 
requirements uh, there is for the Mini 3 Pro. You can see if I choose that, it says you need to uh, register as an operator and you need to label that operator number onto the aircraft. It also tells you if there's any known restrictions in the area. Be aware that the information that is uh, available for DJI is not necessarily synchronized uh, with the information that is uh, current valid for the country where you're in. You can just see here, uh, just an example uh, for me, let's just take Fredensborg. If I take that one and I zoom into the Royal Castle, you can see that the, the, the area that is uh, sort of uh, highlighted as a no-fly zone, that does not correlate if I go to dronezoner.dk, which is the official um, Danish website from uh, the aviation authorities, you can see the area is much, much bigger. There is a mismatch between the information that DJI has available as well as uh, what, what is currently uh, yeah, in play. So you need to be aware of this. When you create a new fly spot, even if you are allowed to create it here in the app, you should be aware that it might not be possible or legal to fly there in uh, real life. Let's jump back to Orby. And then I go back and I select the Mini 2 just because I want that. Not that it matters uh, if you are creating this. <laughs> <laughs> let's create a new flight spot and we do that here let's let's use this harbor where i've been flying many times and put our pin in uh, on top of that and uh, we have selected the mini 2 so everything is uh, like it's supposed to be and then i can press create new fly spot so now i get a chance here to uh, yeah it tells me that this is orby uh, bridge orby gore strandhuse i can um, type in a little story about this so I found a little uh, snippet of text that I can paste in here. It's, it's in Danish, I could have put it in in English. Um, I can also add some images. Uh, I don't have any of uh, the harbor area here on my phone. So I just decided to add an image of uh, the inn that is located uh, next to uh, the harbor area. I can put a review in here. I can say that it's super good. Name uh, the fly spot uh, that you discovered. That's Orby. So let's just call it Orby Kro, which is Danish for in, and then harbor. Put it a review. Everything is nice. I can add in uh, additional information that I want to add. It's uh, actually preferred to use uh, the uh, the, <laughs> the UI in a, in a portrait mode instead of uh, horizontal as I'm doing here. It's uh, a lot easier. Also, is there any security staff on the premises? No, there's not. So now I have everything that I need, the information about the fly spot. So I basically created a new fly spot. And uh, the idea behind this system, uh, I don't have an official announcement from GGI what the idea is behind it, but it, it makes more or less sense that uh, you have all sorts of uh, yeah fly spots generated by the by all of us, so you have an easy way to spot areas that is of interest of the other drone pilots that are flying in uh, the local area. So if I press post, I think we will. Flyspot created successfully under review. Flyspot already been added to visited. View visited list. Okay, so we do visited list. So, that's me. <laughs> this is the how you create a flyspot. That's actually pretty nice. And when you are talking about uh, legislation, uh, when you are flying and when you're not flying, uh, when you have a sub 250 gram drone, it basically does not need any kind of uh, certification to fly, as you can see here, as if I had maybe selected one of the heavier drones. Let's take uh, the Air Series, the Air 3, which is my absolute favorite. You can see that uh, you need EU proof of competence. And uh, you say, okay, because it's not a requirement, I really don't need it. But I actually recommend it that you take at least an A1, A3 um, drone certificate because that will provide you with all the basic knowledge about areas where you can fly and where you cannot fly, maintenance of your aircraft and all sorts of useful stuff. And uh, if you're from Denmark, I'm actually collaborating uh, with uh, the Droner DK and uh, you can find a list of all the courses that they are offering in uh, the description below. And what's really cool here is that uh, even though it's not required that you have a physical course, 
um, you can get a physical course uh, through them and get a proper training so you're really well uh, equipped with knowledge when you're going out to do your drone flight. So yeah, I would say, yeah, use portrait mode for optimal user experience. There's also a shortcut for your fly report. And for that purpose, we need to turn it around like this. And uh, you can basically say agree, and then you can say go fly. I guess this is the report that they normally send out. So that's a lot of information here about my uh, flight uh, records, which I don't want to bore you with right now. So you can, uh, you can get your own. So now you have a very easy shortcut to that part. Okay, so uh, let's say that uh, we want to see what other people have done here. So I just put in Lolan. Lolan, which is a section of uh, Denmark. Let's see. All fly spots. Of course, because this is a brand new feature, <laughs> I will not expect to be able to, uh, yeah, to find uh, any here. So, but. Um, so you see there's one, actually there's one for Knudenborg, which is a nature park here, not a very uh, far from here. You could definitely play around with what others are typing into this system. And of course, uh, when it's maturing a little bit, you will start to see a lot more posts appearing and uh, you will have a nice chance to go in and see what's going on. You see here, uh, there's a lot of images uh, added. Before flying, da da da, precautions, uh, da, 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 is permission needed? No. Um, yeah, there's not a review here. So it's more or less uh, the airborne version of TripAdvisor, I would assume. All right, so this was a short introduction uh, with a little. All right, so this was a. All right, so this was a short introduction uh, to the new FlySpot feature that is uh, has become available in the new uh, in the updated version of the DJI Fly app, the 112. What was it? So this was an updated. Uh, okay. <laughs> So this was uh, so this was a video. Okay. So this concludes the video. Okay. So this was the video. Okay. So this was a brief introduction to the FlySpot feature that the DJI introduced with the one twelve eight of the DJI Fly app, available for all the drones using the DJI Fly app. There might be other stuff in it. There might be other stuff in here that I have not discovered uh, because now I kind of haven't had the chance to fly the drone. <laughs> but if you have the official release and you spot something that's interesting for everyone to know, then let us know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and happy flying.